This is chapter three, part three. In this lesson, we will finish our discussion about independence, and then we will also talk about Simpson's paradox. So, since each of these distributions do not look the same, then um, we can answer this question, are they independent? So if the distribution of one variable, which is our response, is the same for all categories of the other variable, which is the type of medication, we say the variables are independent or they have no association. So in other words, if every medication had exactly the same amount of res full response, then we would say they're independent. And if they each had exactly the same amount of partial response, we could say they're independent. But as you can see from the graph, you can predict um, that you're going to get more full responses for the placebo users. And you're more likely to get no response from the St. John's wort users. So these um, variables are not independent. So if the distributions are not the same for each category, we say the variables are dependent or that they have an association. For example, if knowing what medication a person received helps you predict their response, then the variables have an association, and that's what we have here. There is an association. Okay, last topic here is Simpson's paradox. The thing um, that we want to point out here is sometimes it's inappropriate to average proportions. So looking at this table here, suppose you're a baseball manager and you need to choose a hitter for a certain situation in baseball. So who do you choose? So you're looking at player A and their overall average is a 320 compared to player B who is 290. So obviously player A is better overall. But if the uh, pitcher is right-handed, it looks like player B is better because they hit 375 against right-handers where player A only hits 346 against righties. But if you go against left-handers, Player A hits 227 and player B hits 277. So again, player B is better. So player B is better against left-handed pitchers, better against right-handed pitchers, but player A is better overall. This is Simpson's paradox. Um, and what the reason it happens is because of the number of observations you have. Player B has played many more games, 151 observations here. 32 here, and 119 here. But player A only has 131 overall, with 81 against righties and 22 against lefties. So it's, it's not a good idea to average proportions, um, especially when you have different numbers of observations. Fortunately, Simpson's paradox is fairly rare, so most of the time you don't have to worry about it. There is also an article um, that was in the paper, the Wall Street Journal, that you can read related to this same idea. So that's it for Chapter 3.